Ever feel like you're doing everything right but still not seeing the fat loss results you want? I know the struggle. So many of us jump into diet after diet, hoping for that one magic fix. But here's the reality. The real keys to losing fat and keeping it off aren't in those trendy diets or grueling workouts. In fact, some of the best strategies are often overlooked or dismissed as too simple to work. Imagine if you could bypass all the trial and error, learning only what truly makes a difference. In this video, we're diving into seven things I wish I'd learned sooner about burning fat, the ones that actually work and won't leave you feeling defeated. We're talking real life tips that make fat loss easier, faster, and more sustainable. So if you're tired of the cycle of losing and regaining weight, and you're ready for a fresh, straightforward approach, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Let's kick things off with the absolute foundation of fat loss, the calorie deficit. Simply put, to effectively lose fat, your body needs to burn more calories than it takes in. Think of it like managing your finances. If you're trying to pay off a debt, which in this case is body fat, you need to be spending more than you're earning. That's what a calorie deficit is all about. It's what signals your body to dip into those stored fat reserves for fuel. Simple idea, powerful results, and honestly, it's the bedrock of any successful weight loss journey. Now, achieving that balance doesn't have to feel like a science project or leave you feeling deprived. Start by logging what you eat for just a few days, either in a journal or a simple app. You'd be surprised at how many little things add up, like that extra spoonful of peanut butter or the handful of chips you grab without thinking. It's almost like turning on a light and finally seeing where those sneaky calories hide. Once you're aware of your intake, you can start making small, manageable tweaks. Maybe swap a sugary drink for water or try slightly smaller portions. This isn't about jumping into a crash diet, it's about finding adjustments that actually fit into your life. And remember, this is just the first step, but the next steps are just as essential for getting those quick, efficient results we're all after. So stay tuned and grab a pen or your notes app because your coach, David Smith, has got some solid game-changing tips lined up just for you, my friend. So let's keep going. Since we're already on the topic of nutrition, let's dive into the next essential step, balancing your macronutrients. When it comes to effective fat loss, Getting the right balance of proteins, carbs, and fats is like fine-tuning an instrument. Each one has a purpose, but protein truly shines as your secret weapon. Not only does it support muscle repair and growth, but it also keeps you feeling full longer, which makes sticking to a calorie deficit that much easier. Think of protein as the brakes for your appetite, helping curb hunger and reduce the temptation to snack. Now, carbs and fats aren't the enemies they're often made out to be. Carbs provide the energy you need to power through your workouts, while healthy fats support essential body functions and keep your metabolism running smoothly. The trick is finding a balance, maybe easing up a bit on carbs and adding more lean protein sources like chicken, fish, or plant-based options. These small shifts can make a big difference, allowing you to stick to your goals without feeling deprived. Remember, this is all about building long-term habits, not jumping on quick fixes. Finding the right balance of macros might take a little trial and error, but once you hit that sweet spot, it becomes second nature. Plus, getting it right supports your energy and keeps your body in fat-burning mode, setting you up for the next steps. Now let's move on to the third step in our fat loss journey, strength training. This isn't just about building muscle, it's a game changer for burning fat. When you lift weights, your body needs extra energy to repair and grow those muscles which revs up your metabolism. Think of it like stoking a fire. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn, even when you're just relaxing. This steady calorie burn works alongside your diet to keep fat loss on track. While cardio might seem like the obvious choice for fat burning, without strength training, you risk losing muscle along with fat. And muscle is gold. It not only shapes your body, but also helps keep the weight off in the long run. Imagine shedding fat, but also gaining a lean, defined look a couple of days each week dedicated to resistance work, whether it's bodyweight exercises, dumbbells, or resistance bands, can make a big difference. The beauty of strength training is in its flexibility. No gym? No problem. You can start with push-ups, squats, or lunges right at home. And as you get stronger, you can add weights or increase reps to keep challenging your body. This gradual progression keeps you from hitting plateaus and keeps that metabolism fired up, setting you up for the next wins in your fat loss journey. Now, let's dive into the fourth step of our fat loss journey, steering clear of crash diets. These quick fix diets might seem tempting with their promises of rapid weight loss, but they come with a cost. 
Sure, you might drop some pounds fast, but often that weight loss includes valuable muscle mass. And when muscle goes, so does that calorie burning potential, making it harder to keep the weight off in the long run. Instead of restrictive diets, think balance and sustainability. Picture this, instead of cutting out entire food groups or slashing calories dramatically, you make manageable adjustments that you can actually stick with. Maybe it's swapping sugary snacks for fruit or choosing grilled instead of fried. These small changes help create a sustainable calorie deficit without feeling like you're punishing yourself. After all, a diet that leaves you starving is no diet at all. It's a struggle. This balanced approach keeps you fueled and helps prevent those dreaded weight loss plateaus. By focusing on gradual, realistic changes, you're setting yourself up for long-term success, not just a quick fix. Plus, this method supports your energy levels, so you feel strong and motivated to tackle the next steps in your journey. And speaking of energy, let's talk about the often overlooked role hydration plays in fat loss. Now let's dive into the fifth step in your fat loss journey, staying hydrated. It might seem basic, but water is crucial for keeping your metabolism running at its best. When your body is well hydrated, it processes nutrients more efficiently, supports smooth digestion, and even helps curb your appetite. Think of water as the oil in an engine. When you're drinking enough, everything just works better. Here's a small but powerful tip. Keep a water bottle with you throughout the day and take sips consistently. This simple habit not only boosts your metabolism, but also helps prevent those moments when thirst tricks you into thinking you're hungry. How often do you reach for a snack only to realize a glass of water would have done the trick? By staying hydrated, you're tuning in to your body's true needs, helping you avoid unnecessary eating and stay on track with your goals. And let's not forget, hydration isn't just about avoiding hunger. It's also a game changer when it comes to your workouts. Being properly hydrated means better energy and endurance, which makes those strength training sessions we talked about feel more manageable. So before we dive into tackling those dreaded plateaus, remember, staying hydrated is a simple yet powerful tool in your fat loss arsenal. Now, let's move on to an inevitable part of any fat loss journey, the plateau. At some point, the progress that once felt steady and motivating can slow down, sometimes even stall, this can be frustrating, but it's a natural part of the process. When your body adjusts to your new routine, it becomes more efficient, which means it burns fewer calories. Think of it like a road trip where the car starts using fuel more sparingly as it adapts to the journey. So what do you do when you hit this roadblock? Adjustments are key. Small tweaks to your diet or exercise routine can shake things up and push your body out of its comfort zone. Maybe it's time to reduce portion sizes slightly or introduce a new workout move to challenge different muscles. These changes give your metabolism the little nudge it needs to start burning fat more effectively again. And remember, hitting a plateau doesn't mean you're failing. In fact, it's a sign that you're making progress. Your body is simply catching up to the new you, and with a few mindful adjustments, you'll be back on track. As we wrap up this section, let's look at a way to track progress that goes beyond just stepping on the scale. Now let's move on to the seventh step of our fat loss journey by talking about a crucial step, Tracking progress beyond the scale. It's easy to get fixated on that number, but it doesn't always tell the full story. Weight can fluctuate for many reasons, water retention, muscle gain, or even the time of day. Relying solely on the scale can lead to unnecessary frustration, even when real progress is happening. A better way to track your journey is by using measurements, photos, and even how your clothes fit. Take a few minutes each week to measure your waist, hips, or arms, or snap a progress picture. Often, these small changes are more noticeable in the mirror or in how your jeans fit than on the scale. This approach also helps you stay motivated by showing the real transformation happening in your body. And don't underestimate the power of keeping a journal. Write down how you feel, your energy levels, or any milestones you reach along the way. These non-scale victories keep you focused on the bigger picture, showing that fat loss isn't just about a number, it's about the overall journey. So as you move forward, Remember that every small win counts and progress is about much more than just pounds lost. For those of you who've stayed with us until now, here's a bonus tip to make your fat loss journey even more sustainable, avoiding crash diets. Sure, these restrictive diets might promise quick results, but they're often temporary. When you cut calories drastically, you're not just losing fat, you're risking muscle loss and missing out on essential nutrients. And that muscle is crucial as it's what helps keep your metabolism steady and makes fat loss easier in the long run. Instead of going for extreme cuts, think about building a balanced, sustainable approach. Swap out heavy processed foods for whole options, make protein a priority, 
and don't shy away from healthy fats. Imagine a plan where you're still enjoying your favorite foods in moderation, while making simple swaps that keep you full and fueled. This way, you're not just losing fat, you're creating habits that support your health and energy over time. This balanced strategy keeps you away from that yo-yo dieting trap, where weight loss is followed by weight gain. By building a sustainable eating plan, you're setting yourself up for long-term success, and your body will thank you for it. And after you eliminate the excess fat that bothers you, I recommend that you continue to dedicate yourself to strength training. Even if it's only three times a week to maintain your energy levels, keep your body toned, and always look incredible. And to help you with this, I left here on the screen a video with incredible tips for you to follow and transform your body with maximum muscle building potential. See you there, my friend.